Hi everyone, welcome back to the my channel. My name is Sunil, and in this React Native video, we will see that how we can put a validation on a form. So these are the kind of validation that we are just going to apply on it. So first of all, we will see that how we can put the numeric validation, empty field validation, validation on a blur, and validation on a submit form. And we will also use some uh, rejects to uh, put some validation like alphanumeric, numeric, and all. All right. So I am just going to continue my last video, which is uh, in last video I just uh, uh, told you that how you can make a very simple form, right? So I am also going to recommend you that if you are a beginner at that React Native, then you can you have to just watch the previous video also because I am just going to continue the last video. So uh, this is the app.js file. I already made the simple form here. You can see that uh, I just have three fields and uh, three states and three fields here i just added some style here and uh, on change text i update the state here with the set state all right and at the last uh, whenever i just put something here like name like anil uh, anil at the rate test and password like one two three on them whenever i just uh, submit it then i just got the whole values whole values here all right so now I will just tell you that how we can put the validations and the first validation I'm just going to apply on the password. So let's say you just want to use uh, uh, only numeric password that how you can use. So the first validation will be going to apply on a password. So first of all, uh, this is very simple actually. because That's why I'm just taking it the first. So for that, if I just use my this uh, keyword, uh as in numeric values only so if i just remove the everything from here i just use uh, uh, numeric keyword for that all right so let's see that how we can i do it so you just have to change the keyword type only just right here keyboard type and just write here simply numeric right so if i just put here numeric then let's open it once again and uh, okay so this is actually email field so i just have to apply it on the text so i just when i i just see that now you can see that this is only numeric keyboard there is no uh, alphabet here right so if i if you just want to add something here then it will just work only numeric keyboard so with the numeric keyboard you cannot add the alphabetics so this is a, so automatically put it the validation so and now the next validation is that how you can put some uh, length limit validation so uh, you just want to put there the length should be only five characters for the 10 characters for that you can just choose here max length property and here you can just put here like some characters like five the five character will be only accepted if you just add a six character it will not not going to be added here so you just try to enter in the on the sixth character it will not not going to work so after that uh, let's see let's see that how we can put the validation on a empty field how we can check it so for that i am just going to define it uh, with the email so let's write here email error state and by default it can be also blank all right so this is the email field so if I just want to add a validation on blur, then I have to add the on blur event here. On blur event, I am just going to call a function like email validator, something like this. And we have to use like this dot email validator. And let's define this email validator like here. And in this email validator, I am just going to just check it if this dot uh, email uh, sorry this dot state dot email is empty then I can just update this dot set state uh, email error I have to put something like this email field cannot be empty right else if it have some values then 
this state will be blank like this all right so now what i'm just going to add i am just going to add some text here like this and simply put here this dot state dot um email error and the text field we must have to import from the top from like this all right so and add some the uh, color properties also like color can be red so that it will be looks like more rea more realistic so if i just uh, enter here or i just focus on on it and i just remove the focus from here then it should work but it's actually not work because i have to use here double equal to all right so let's try once again so i am going to lose the focus from here and now let's see that you can see that the error here email field cannot be empty all right so uh, i can just use something like margin left like uh, 20 pixel right so now this is look like more nice you can just adjust the style according to your uh, easy way right so now let's see the next thing that what we have to do so uh, we just check the validation on the blur case now how we can check the validation on uh, uh, submit button all right so for that i am just also going to check this validation on uh, submit but I just apply the results on the submit validation like okay so but we were we are just going to use it on the name and the name should be uh, alphabetic only right because in the name we cannot use the numbers so I am just going to add one more state here like name error right so now what actually I'm going to do I am just going to add a results here so uh, let's take a variable like rjx and uh, the pattern is like this um, we have to use the slashes start with the cap and with the brackets like put the small a to z and capital a to z and after that use the plus and the dollar sign right Rizex is ready here so let me check once again is it right perfect and now I have to check the validation on the name state then uh, let's take one more variable let is valid and here we can just simply add like uh, rjx dot uh, test and here put our state this dot state dot name right and with the name uh, now let's check the console is it valid or not right so it will just give the value in true and false so I'm just going to submit it and it will just tell me the false right so if I just add like only anil then it should be give me true and if I just put here one two three then it should give me false yes this is working fine now if I I'm just going to add here if is valid is true then uh, the same thing we can do like this um, like if add here if name error and let's just add it name field name field must be alphabetic all right um, spelling is misspell is it misspell uh, if I have to check here like this 
is valid right mm, let me correct the spell first of all alphabetic all right so now um i am just going to add the similar thing at the bottom also like this and here i just have to use the let me just use here name error right so now okay so name error should be on the top so now let's try to submit it and it, this is false but it should give some error like this um, we can just check it like this now this is fine okay so mm, 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 once again there is some issue okay uh, sorry that's oh I just totally blind okay so I have to check the validation here if this is not valid then it just tell that n number should be like this and all right so whenever I am mm -hmm, just going to submit it then it will the name must be alphanumeric because now this is blank if I just put here one two three then uh, if I just put here ABC then it should be fine like this and if I just add one two three again then it should be give me once again error like this all right so if I just put some numeric value and just lose the focus then it will just also give me the error and here we only only we can just add the uh, numeric keyboard values then this this is I think uh, you just got it that how we can just put the validation in the react native if you still have any kind of confusion you can ask me in the comment box don't forget to subscribe my channel thanks for watching this video